Let's take a live look now at the summit at Snoqualmie, where there's quite a bit of snow on the ground and people are out there enjoying. <laughs> it looks like a the, good day. It does. Great day to be out there. Uh, and more snow is expected tonight. So, uh, Christopher. How much snow and where exactly? Yeah, mountains still under that winter weather advisory. That continues until 10 p.m. tonight, where an additional two, three, four inches expected there at Snoqualmie and really for the entire Cascade Range in central parts of the state. Now, no snow for the lowlands. That's the good news, but it is cloudy and it's a little bit cool. 47 degrees in Seattle. We should be at 53, so our temperature is running a little bit cooler than where they should be. On a positive note, the winds are a little bit lighter than where they were this time yesterday, south to southwest at 10 miles per hour. Now, Seattle is one of the milder readings across western Washington. Seattle south, that's where temperatures are in the upper 40s right now. North of Seattle, we're holding on to those temperatures in the lower 40s, so a little bit colder, 42 for my friends there in Everett. Temperatures tonight, they're going to be seasonally cool, falling into the 30s, so you want the jacket, you don't need the big puffer coat. On and off showers are possible at times, but it's not going to be a continuous widespread rainfall, not a washout, so it shouldn't really impact your evening plans. If you're traveling over the mountains, that winter weather advisory continues until 10 p.m. That does include Snoqualmie Pass and Stevens Pass. Right now, no restrictions uh, are um, issued for either of the passes in western Washington. Area of low pressure working its way inland. This is creating a few of those showers right now, some of that mountain snow, but it's going to continue to zip off to the east and weekend, so our weather is going to start to improve over the weekend. We have an area of high pressure starting to build in by Saturday morning, and that will help allow for a couple sun breaks out there tomorrow afternoon. There is a system just off the coast. It's weak, so that will spin up a couple showers at times tomorrow. But again, it's not going to be a washout. And there should be plenty of sun breaks, and we're going to hold on to that into our Sunday as well. First half of the day is that better opportunity on Sunday to see some of the sunnier skies and then cloud cover does start to build in later in the day with rain moving in by Sunday night as another system works its way in. And this is going to pull in quite a bit of moisture and that's going to raise those snow levels as well. Some of that moisture brings in some of that warmer air and snow levels are actually going to climb above 4000 feet by Monday morning. Tomorrow afternoon temperatures upper 40s inland areas could actually hit 50 degrees, still a little below average, but I think we'll take this right on and off showers possible. Plenty of sun breaks 50 in Seattle, 52 in Bellevue, southern parts of Puget Sound. Many areas climb into the lower 50s tomorrow tomorrow afternoon 52 in Olympia 50 for my friends in Lakewood out along the coast temperatures are going to stay in the upper 40s 50s as you work your way into the southwest interior central and eastern parts of the state a lot of sunshine for central Washington a couple snow flurries possible as you work your way into eastern parts of the state including in Spokane but not expected to really amount to too much positive news our temperatures are going up this is a look ahead to next week we're going to see temperatures Average 53. We're going to hit 56 on Thursday and an opportunity to flirt with 60 degrees by next Saturday. I think we'll take that right. Finally, temperatures near or above average. Seven day forecast very similar over the next couple of days with temperatures in the lower 50s, on and off rain showers with some sun breaks. Don't forget to set that clock forward an hour tomorrow night.